Need help, sir? Oh, uh, officer, hi. You need uh, help? Uh, no, no, and I'm fine, thank you. What do you got there? Uh, well, pecans. I'm delivering pecans to my niece. And pecans? Syrup. Yeah, pecans. She makes the worst pecan pie you've ever tasted. I no so cop would suspect that Earl Stone is trafficking drugs. An old, upright, white man, Stone is above suspicion. But despite his quiet demeanor, Stone is resilient and the cartel's top mule, transporting millions of dollars worth of cocaine. A seasoned traveler who spent his career driving around the country as a horticulturalist, he knows how to navigate the American road system. He is never stopped for traffic violations and operates under the DEA agent's noses, even when he crosses paths with top agent Colin Bates, bent on capturing the elusive mule no one has ever seen, but everyone is talking about. You gotta think about family. Ah, uh, yeah. Anniversary is important. But you know, I'm the king of missing anniversaries. That's oh, yeah? the problem, yes. That's the first one I've missed, so. Good luck. Don't follow my footsteps and do what I did. I put work in, in front of family. And this is the most important thing. Bradley Cooper plays Officer Bates. He describes Eastwood's character. It's a man uh, on a path reckoning his past, a reckoning for his, uh, what, he, what he, making up for, for mistakes, uh, making peace with himself. Uh, but it's a reckoning for how he's lived his life. Stone's financial troubles and his desire to make up for past mistakes and lost chances with his estranged wife and daughter lies at the heart of the story. Broke and rejected by his family, he takes a job as a drug mule, not out of greed, at least in the beginning, but out of despair to make things right. And though that is part of the film narrative, in some way, it reflects Eastwood's real life. Iris. His estranged on-screen daughter is played by his real daughter, Alison Eastwood, who says she did not always have the best relationship with her dad. It's been challenging um, because I do have such a great relationship with my dad these days, so I've had to sort of go back and dig around in the past of when I might have not been so happy with him <laughs> and bring that up as an actor. Um, you know, because this, this character is really angry. As Stone makes up for lost time with his family, he's running out of time with the law. DEA agents are on his trail, and the cartel titans his control over him, even as he is determined to keep his own timetable on the road. His illicit income is becoming more and more visible as he spreads money around. He almost becomes like a Robin Hood character because he makes all this money unlawfully but he goes around and starts helping people that need things. But despite Eastwood's romantic spin on his stint as a drug mule, critics say the film glosses over the criminality of drug trafficking and the devastating effects of drugs and drug cartels on society. Penelope Pulu, POA News, Washington.